Hello and welcome back to another Betfred Sports video right here on Quest Media Network Studios. I'm Katie Caswell and I'm joined as always by Betfred's Peter Spencer. Betfred, Peter, how are you doing today? Yes, Rashi, thank you. Brilliant. So we've had some great Champions League action so far this week with good wins from City and United. How did United play this week? Well, I think it was one of those games that they had to win um, for um, the whole club and for uh, Michael Carrick in particular. Um, it had to be Ronaldo who um, got on the score sheet um, and he did so. Um, so it um, was a good solid win and what was expected it has affected the odds for the Champions League now um, United have been cut now to 16-1 to 1 now for winning the Champions League I mean I won't put it past them stranger things happened at United <laughs> uh, City are the out, out and out favourites I'm sure we'll talk about PSG in a minute yeah, but absolutely. they're 3-1 to one favourites to win the Champions League for the first time ever in the club's history Bayern Munich, they're seven to two with Betfred. Liverpool, never discount them, eleven to two. I think they're going to be affected by the African Nations Cup losing so many top players to that, um, and particularly with uh, Salah going. Uh, PSG six to one. Uh, Chelsea thirteen to two to retain the Champions League trophy. United, as I say, sixteen to one. Real Madrid, well, they're sixteen to one as well. Who'd have thought that? <laughs> um, the aristocrats of European football. Um, Ajax 20 to 1 and Juventus 33 to 1 with Betfred. They're the top team, so it's, it's more, more than likely going to be one of those who will win the Champions League. I think for United fans, it's been quite a nice thing to see them actually win a game. When there's some poor Premier League action so far, I think it's been great for them to see them actually win the Champions League this, this, this week. Well, yeah, it's um, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And Sun City and PSG, what do you think of that game? Well, I thought that, um, again, it was um, a statement of intent from City, um, what to be expected this season. Um, I thought that um, uh, Guardiola had it all to do um, in terms of getting one over Pochettino. Maybe we'll come to that in the future as well, um, if Pochettino eventually does join United. Um, and the strikers for PSG went missing um, for long sections of that game. Um, so City identified that as a weakness in the PSG team that the strikers are looking to um, uh, do their bit in the top quarter of the pitch and not much else than that. Um, the, um, it, was, it was well deserved. Again, you think about if they'd have had Harry Kane playing or another striker, whether that game would have been out of sight at half time and it wasn't, it was nil nil, and then they got the first goal and people started worrying, even the most uh, ardent City fans started worrying at that point mm. that it was going to go against them. Um, but they came through, um, I thought that Sterling had a cracking game, um, scored a goal of course, but that's the sort of goal he does score, on instinct, not necessarily we have to think much, just prod your foot out and he goes <laughs> in the net. All for the best. <laughs> yeah. um, and he did that, he was in the perfect position to score that goal, um, and so City did get a 2-1 win to, to catapult them to the top of the league on target to win the Champions League for the first time in their history and as I say 3-1 to one favourites with Betfred to win the Champions League That's fantastic and the Premier League is now back we've had some great games this week so far um, Manchester City have been performing well they've obviously second at the table now and they beat Everton last week what are you thinking for the game this weekend? Well we think that um, City will beat West Ham um, the uh, home of course and it's two to seven for City to win. Um, West Ham nine to one, draw five to one. Um, and one of the difficult things for us at Betfred is trying to predict the first goal scorer for City because there's so many players um, get on the score sheet and also he does play this false number nine. So Foden is seven to two to score first. We think he'll come back from injury. Uh, Gundogan, Jesu, Mares, Cole Palmer, the uh, up and coming young player from Withenshaw and Sterling are all four to one to score that vital first goal. And uh, Jack Grealish is um, five to one to score first for City. Fantastic. And as well on Sunday, was the Manchester United playing Chelsea? What are you thinking for that? Well, they've got a new manager. They have um, indeed, yes. Now, uh, Ralph Rangnick, he is going to um, presumably be watching either at home in Germany or he'll be there um, in the shadows, but we won't really be in the shadows because he'll get picked up <laughs> by the TV cameras. Um, so it could be uh, Michael Carrick's last uh, game in charge. Um, 
it is looking ominous. I mm. mean, Chelsea are an half-decent team. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and with the manager there, Thomas Tuchnik, he is um, um, an advocate of the way that United's new interim coach uh, plays football, i.e. the huge pressing game. Uh, and on that pressing game, um, it is the German way that has been pioneered in Germany, where the strikers really, really push the defence to force them to start making errors in their own half. Um, and United have obviously gone for someone who can um, um, put that, uh, advocate that into the tactical um, um, now sort of ethos of the club and force United to play a different game. One player who won't benefit from that is Ronaldo because he isn't a big advocate, and particularly at his age, of that tactical um, skill. So it'd be interesting to see um, how the new boss, or uh, interim boss, um, is able to bring out the best in Ronaldo under those um, um, new regime. Um, but United are nine to two to win at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea three to five, draw sixteen to five. Uh, we've got Lukaku ten to three to score first. Um, Werner uh, nine to two, and of the United players, uh, Ronaldo's eleven to two to score first, and Cavani fifteen to two, and Rashford, who could do with a goal or two, is um, eight to one with Betfred to score first. I think for United as well, so we've seen them playing defensive for a long time now. So to have this switch up of managerial role might really push them to you know start attacking more and playing that field differently. Yeah. Well, they're renowned for their counter-attacking style um, and it, it will be fascinating to see how the injection of the new interim coaches' um, uh, strategies into the tactics, which a lot of people say have been very much non-existent at United for so long, they're just based on um, previous um, managers and um, the way Fergie used to play effectively, mm, not yeah. much changed from then. So they've got to kind of modernise and they will have looked around the United hierarchy and thought to themselves, which is the best way forward here? And it's the way that City, Chelsea, Liverpool all play, putting huge pressure on the defensive um, uh, players from the attackers. Um, and that's what United will no doubt do. So there's a, a whole new skill sets to be learned by the United players. Um, bet Fred odds for winning the title outright. We now have City. Uh, outright favourites, their odds on eight to eleven to win the title. Chelsea five to two. Liverpool, as I say, you can never rule them completely out. They're nine to two. We do think it's going to be out of those three mm. for the title because the next two teams are West Ham <laughs> and Manchester United, both well. at hundreds to one <laughs> shots. Wow. So it is looking like it's going to be those those three to, to win the yeah. title. And a bit of a change now, but in the, the lead to Christmas, obviously a lot of people go to watch and the celebrity, and that's been on Saturday last weekend. What have got for that at the minute? Well, um, David Ginola is the favourite now. Um, Richard Maidley going out, of course. Yes. Um, housewife choice, apparently. Um, <laughs> he's um, Ginola is now nine to four uh, to be king of the jungle. Um, Simon Gregson, ex Coronation of currently Coronation Street, he's three to one. Uh, Frankie Bridge four to one. Um, those are the three favourites. For those who do watch, I think Simon joined last evening, and I think he joined with a bit of a bang. He'll make quite a big impression in the jungle. So I'd love to see how that goes. Then. Well, a lot of it's to do with the banter and the stories they've got to yeah, tell. Definitely. And he's certainly got some good stories to he tell. Yeah, yeah. Because um, he's been in Coronation Street for <laughs> quite a few years now, um, and he will be able to um, talk about some of the other celebrities uh, if, they, if he does if he's willing to give some secrets away. Mm. And it is how, how much time they get on air that has a huge factor in that. Because so many who uh, you think are going to do well and never get any t air time. But it's all going on, of course, yeah. like now, all the time. Mm. But it's the air time that matters, yeah. those few minutes where they're chatting and in the castle. So. Yeah, I mean, it does make a big deal, doesn't it? Depending on what you see. So obviously, like I said, then it goes on all the time, but we only see a very select amount of that. So obviously, depending on what you see, it makes a big difference in what you view of them as, really. Yeah, that's it? exactly right. <laughs> well, thank you very much for that. And if you do fancy putting any bets this weekend, Betfred stores are now open and you can bet online and via their app as well.